Okay, not much time for introduction. Just turn around and swim, Laura. Swim, 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 swim. Okay, now... <laughs> that didn't go too well, but I'm amazed Lara managed to hold her breath for that amount of time. Maybe she had a breathing mask or something. Anyway, let's do our best to avoid the great white shark over here. And yes, uh, this level was caused for me losing quite a lot of sleep, because I was wondering how I'm going to tackle this. Considering our objective is to kill all enemies. And you know what, even though this is going to be difficult, I'm not going to give up. We're still going to do that, but we're going to have to be very careful, because... Um, as you might have noticed, sharks, well... They are underwater enemies, and we won't be able to lure those bastards into spaces from which we could climb up and then just finish them up like we did with divers from safe shore so this is probably the first yeah this is generally the first time we're gonna have to employ our harpoon and uh, the issue with that is that let me take a look we have 24 harpoon shots or well, harpoons really um, it takes eight shots to kill a shark mind you there are gonna be three sharks in this level so basically we're just gonna be using all that harpoon ammunition and there are still gonna be more sharks uh, in the next few levels thankfully harpoons are gonna be one of the bonuses we're gonna receive for picking up all the secrets but it's still not not a great load of harpoons now so first of all we need to escape these bastards just like I showed you uh, no time to look around yet let's focus on those sharks you might have noticed one sharks, but there are in fact two sharks out there. The second one spawns at the beginning, the other one once you press the lever. And what I found uh, very effective is to lure them to this opening over here. Because once they touch the ground, these guys become stuck for whatever reason. Okay, just come closer. Hey friend. I've seen something shiny in here. Let's investigate. Oh no, you poor bastard, you got stuck. Well, that's too bad, I'm gonna have to put you down. And once they touch the ground, they just remain there. And you can just shoot them, and this way we'll make sure we won't waste a single harpoon. Now, so yeah, that's four and four shots. And as you might have noticed, uh, Lara needs to reload harpoon after every four shots she fires. I don't understand why they decided you have to reload this gun. It's the only gun in the entire game that has to reload. I mean, putting aside the fact that it has the rarest ammunition, deals little to no damage, it all, they decided to have to reload. Uh, I, I don't understand the logic behind it. They can't really discourage you more from underwater combat than they already are. Now let us return uh, back and see where the first shark got stuck in. Yep, there he is. Wait, and I believe he is stuck. So you know we're going to be nasty and use this opportunity to shoot him. If he doesn't get stuck, just make sure he'll follow you like the previous shark into the very same spot and he should get stuck on the ground over there. So that's it. We lost 16 harpoons just on these two first enemies alone. Now, uh, there are also going to be some swimming uh, barracudas, but uh, fortunately we'll be able to lure those out and shoot them from shore. And we really don't have much breath. Come on, Laura, come on, come on. Oh! Okay, we lost a bit of health, but it was still worth it. Okay, but let's go for another swim, because there are a couple of crates. We need to access this one over here, but we can't because of the water. So, first we're going to have to get rid of that. Very simple. We already played with water before in the Venice level, I believe. Okay, and you might be tempted to do a swan dive back into the water, but don't forget, the water disappeared, so just make a safety drop, because this is quite the distance. And let us return into the storage room. But I'm really happy about how we uh, handle those sharks. Also, I think it's worth pointing out that this is going to be probably the shortest level uh, in the entire game. Well, except for the very last one, but... Um, it doesn't... well, it's short in terms of content. I mean, there are only 14 items here, 16 enemies, and it doesn't really take much space. However, the pure difficulty of us dealing with the underwater enemies 
can make it last a bit longer. Okay, so that was a shotgun duel. And you might be tempted to get that stone dragon. Well, don't do that just yet. Ah, What I did there was I ran over a very slight corner of those tiles and thus triggered a trap without actually being affected by it. And what happens is that we'll basically drop down into an area. We need to drop down there, but this way we'll be able to drop down safely without taking any damage. And also we took down one of the enemies. Now there's another shotgun wielding thug in there, but you know what? Let's just deal with him head on. Now this is a safe drop. You won't take any damage from there. Oh, you bastard. Ah, shot us twice. Well. Oh well, not to worry. As I said, this is a very short level with only 16 enemies, and I believe we've dispatched five of them already. Okay. And our next objective is to reach the ledge over there. Now, we can't really use the handlebars like in Tomb Raider 3 to reach it. We're going to have to make a running jump from over here. Now, this is kind of confusing because almost all the crates here are sort of cut down and very narrow. Besides, it must hurt like hell to slide down those ledges with bare feet. I mean, bloody hell that must hurt. I guess Lara is tough and all, but still. Okay, so just do this, and uh, yeah, now a running jump whilst grabbing the latch. It's really as simple as that. Oh, now we're gonna be in this area for quite a while. And yeah, before I'm gonna do anything, let me just sort of explain what's going on, uh, so as to avoid any confusion. That basically, um, yeah, let's just run past these portcullis, okay, these port halls. As we can see, there are two barracudas there, well, there's also a third one that we can't see, and a great white, sh white shark again. So we're gonna have to deal with that very soon. And basically, the main objective of this entire room is to get across through these flaming tiles over there. For that we're gonna have to utilize three different levers, but there's also a fourth lever that will open up a way outside to those sharks and fish that we've seen, which is actually the second secret of the level. So yeah, we're gonna deal with that primarily now. Okay, now this is the lever to open up uh, the way, however it's on a timer, so make sure you uh, jump whilst avoiding these pipes. Otherwise, Lara will just get stuck. And this is basically the way outside. But first, we're going to deal with the enemies before we're going to get our hands on the secret. So, these small fish, these barracudas, can be easily lured in. They'll just follow Lara into the small opening here. However, the great white shark will not, because he's a fat bastard. What I advise you to do is to grab Uzis and shoot them before they disappear. The thing is, you have only a very small time frame to hit them before they are gone again. They have that basic intelligence to make themselves scarce, which is the reason I'm employing Uzis now, because this will make the process much shorter and much less tedious to watch. And now both of those Barracudas, Nibble and Lara's ass. Not appreciate it. Okay. Now we're just gonna have to drop again and repeat. And as we can see two shadows over there, it means two Barracudas are down, there's only a third one remaining. And I don't like the amount of health we've lost to them. Yeah, I think it's still alive somewhere. Where are you? Huh, where did this pick? Unless these are actually three barracudas? I'm not entirely sure. Let me check the kill count. Oh wait, no, it's behind us. Where where was it? Oh I nibbled again. I hope it's dead. Okay, I can definitely f see three dead fish <laughs> in almost the same spot. Looks kind of funny. First, let's utilize a health pack. And, yeah, let's have our harpoon ready for this fat guy over here. Now, don't even try to lure him in like, like we did with the barracuda fish. He will just not follow, he will turn around at this very spot. It's just scripted that way or something. But also, we want to make sure we won't miss with a single harpoon. Because that'd be a waste. So when he's up close, that's when you shoot him. And one more should do the trick, I believe. Okay, well, let's just make sure he turns around. Yes, and he's down. Awesome. 
Okay, I'm really happy about how this turned out. This was basically the trickiest part of the level, killing these underwater enemies. Um, okay, let's make it back before Lara will suffocate again. Okay, so I believe we have the most harrowing part of this level behind us. Um, let's just check the harpoon count. We have three more. We have basically three harpoons now. Um, we need eight to take down one shark, and I believe there are going to be some sharks in the next level as well. Or maybe just one or two, or two in the very end. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, now we have to think about moving forward. So I mentioned three levers. They are in different locations each, and uh, it's sort of a time challenge as well. So the first of interest is in the dark shortcut corridor over here. You have to climb up. Very easy to miss. Now this opened up way to one of the levers. Let me just show you where. Okay, and avoiding those pipes really shouldn't be too much of an issue. You can just do that from a fair distance. Okay, now that turned off two of four out of four flames, but only for a little while, which <laughs> which is where it will get confusing a bit later on. So whilst they are off we can utilize the third lever over here. Actually, realizing that, no, I was wrong, it doesn't include three levers, it includes four levers, and the fifth one is the secret one. Okay, this must sound awfully confusing now, but ju just try to do what I do and you should be fine. So yeah, now we're heading back to the, uh, well, near the secret and we turned off the final flame which is thankfully gonna stay off for a while um, so what we need to do is if you remember we need to shut down the two flames closest to us once more by going here and then hopefully we'll have enough time to just run through the entire gauntlet of fire before they'll be turned off again uh, on again so yeah as you can see they're still off Let's just make it back in time, and that's pretty much the entire deal with this one. Okay, I was worried Lara would hit her head, that could actually slow us down significantly. And at any moment, these fires will turn themselves on. Now, that was rather stressful. But, uh, yeah. Make sure you have your guns ready. Oh, god damn it, Lara. Okay, you don't have to get out of the water you can just turn around and shoot this barracuda. God, they're annoying. Okay, awesome. Sweet. Uh, so we dealt with that. Now, I highly suggest you save at this point, because soon we're gonna reach a milestone, well, a threshold from which we will not be able to return back, so let me do just that. Uh, yeah. It's kind of early to save, I know, but um, considering what we've been through, I'd really hate to repeat that again, so I'm just going to do it now. Now, there's a very conspicuous lever we have to find here. Unfortunately, it's not going to open the door above us that we need. It's going to open the door all the way down. It's kind of sadistic that way. But I'm not going to complain, since this also helps us discover the third secret. And yes, that's four bundles of harpoon ammunition, which brings us to 15. We need 16 shots to kill two sharks, so at this point we can still only kill one shark. That's just insane. And yeah, the whole challenge behind this secret is basically picking it up in time without suffocating, even though it's in the plain sight. So the challenge is not to find it, but to pick it up and make it out in time. And as you might have noticed, three barracudas appeared. Ah. Oh. No, you won't nibble again. I can't really see what we're shooting at, but I'm guessing we killed two of them. Yes, I can see two shadows. Now we just have to lure the third one in. Let's see how that... Oh, nibbled. Actually, the sharks make really funny snapping sounds. These fish, unfortunately, don't. Oh, well. Oh, now you're gonna die, horrible. I believe it's dead. Tell me, do you see three dead fish? Oh, I do. Awesome. Okay, and I believe that's it for the... Oh no, that's not it. 
there's still going to be one more underwater enemy to deal with, but it's not going to be as much of a hassle, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, I'm doing much better than I anticipated. Oh, this music, I love it. It's just such a foreshadowing of horrible things to come. <laughs> now, um, this area might get slightly confusing because, well, basically everything is in your way, but um, the ledge all the way up there, it's not accessible now. It will be accessible later. And yes, we're gonna make things go boom. Just like in Venice. Ah, oh, good old Venice. Okay, so uh, basically, now there are several things we can do. Um, actually, yeah, don't get too confused. Um, there was the area we entered from uh, using the ladder on the right, then there's a new area using the ladder on the left, and then there's the area where we're at which has two ledges, one on our right, one on our left. The one on our right is where we eventually want to go because that's where the level exit is. However, we first need to fill it up with water, otherwise we'd just die. First, let's go to the left and uh, make a way for the movable crate here. I guess it wouldn't be a Tomb Raider 2 level without some crate or another. Although, come to think of it, I don't think they, there were any movable objects in... Uh, in in Venice, there were definitely an offshore rig, diving area, opera house, Great Wall of China, and here. But I don't think there was a movable in Venice. Maybe that is the reason I travel so much. But anyway, cover your ears. Oh, that's just so insanely satisfying. Even though we can't see it, the sound alone makes it worth it. Okay, awesome. So. By doing that, we gained access to the left ladder, and we can also return to the area from the uh, right ladder. First, let's explore the left one, though. We're gonna have to explore both uh, areas. Using one, we're gonna uh, fill the exit area with water, and uh, using the other, we're gonna open up a door at the very bottom of the area. So as you might have figured out, it's a very deep area that we would not survive a fall into which is why we need the war. Now this might look inaccessible, but have no fear, just make a running jump. And yeah, while this might look confusing and you might get annoyed, ah, oh, I don't want to explore all of this. You don't have to. There are really no pickups or enemies to be had here. Now it's funny, ever since Tomb Raider 1, I'm trying to refer to all those items as items, not as pickups, because pickups is the way they were called in the statistic screen in Tomb Raider 1. But it's just hard for me, you know? Because there are always going to be pickups for me. Huh. Okay, so that was the left ladder, and then there's the right one. Okay, and yeah, this is where the dark music was playing. And, uh, over there is where we came from, where we shot our last couple of barracudas. And watch out that you don't fall over here. I I really have no idea why the trap door opened like that. I guess it's just sort of a trap to make you fall down and break Lara's neck, but yeah, just avoid it, okay? It's unsafe. I, yeah, I advise a running jump over here, and now we're gonna open the door that I mentioned at the bottom of the exit area. There. And as you can see, it's filled with water. It wouldn't be otherwise if we went in t to open the door first. And you also might have heard some heavy breathing. And yes, uh, I was talking about the last underwater enemy, so that's once again gonna be a diver. Now, many people say that you have to use your harpoon to kill off that diver, but during my trial run I managed to lure him out all the way up top and kill him from the shore, so I'm gonna try that in here as well, and we'll see how that goes. Because, as I said, we need to conserve all the harpoon ammunition we can. And, I'll be honest, at this point I have no idea if killing all underwater enemies is even gonna be possible. So. <laughs> I'm gonna find out in the next few levels, but I'm, I'm just generally doing my best and we'll see how thin we can stretch our harpoon supplies. Okay, so we need to lure him out. 
Oh, I think I caught a glimpse of his red swimming suit. Wait, I believe he's stuck. Well, that's no good. I'm here, you idiot. Oh my god, he's stuck. Wait, but he's stuck somewhere. We might... Oh no! You bastard! You're so cunning. Oh no, this will not stand. Now that was a very efficient trap. Where is he? Really? Is the same tree gonna work on me? Oh, oh, okay, okay. We dodged that. Good. Let's try and lure him over here. So that we might get a better shot at him from the opposite side. Yep, like this. Okay, get your Uzis ready, Lara. I think I'm gonna do a small health pack considering this is not the last enemy. Kill him! I can't see anything. Is he dead? Oh, he's down and he was right next to us. Oh, that was intense. Okay, but we're nearing the exit and I'm gonna be able to take rest soon. Uh, okay, it's the second level I'm doing today. I did the uh, diving area as well. I'm a bit tired, to be honest. Oh, no. As soon as we leave, the shotgun bastard goes into crouching position. And you know how much I hate crouching position. Okay, they're both down. Uh -huh. Oh my god, and every one of them has a pickup of sorts. Uh -huh. And what we're most desiring, harpoons. Uh -huh. We want harpoons and two bundles no less, so at this point we can take down two sharks. If we'd have 24 we could take down three of them, but yeah. Let's not be too greedy. So as I said, this is a very short level, but it's difficult and intense, and I hope you had fun watching it. Let's see the statistics. Okay, took us about 22 minutes. We killed all 16 enemies, found all secrets, and also according to my notes we found all 14 items. So thank you very much and stay tuned for the next level where we're actually gonna explore the ship's interior which is going to look absolutely amazing. So I'll see you then.